tutorial and this one is going to be on fonts uh, specifically typography and we're going to be looking into Fontstruct and it is a online based tool to make your own fonts easily and quickly and um, just so you know I'm not sponsor sponsored by them I do not I'm, I'm, I'm just doing this from personal experience with uh, this thing that I just found and uh, it's free I don't have to buy any software it's online so it's pretty good uh, basically you just go to fontstruck.com and you make an account right and then you go to the main page and click on start now and you're going to see that I made uh, some test fonts here and it is oh guys this is so easy to make uh, and it looks so cool. I re I'm really in love with this one here. Let's just uh, create a new font instruction here, and uh, it's going to ask you to put a name in. For example, tutorial, and then start font instructing. And this is actually quite easy to use the uh, whole tool. As you can see, it just pops here, and uh, it says here that this uh, is the bottom left of your of your letter so it's going to go this way um now the only problem is that is that you're limited to the shapes here but trust me i, I saw people make anime characters um just by using these and putting them as fonts so that is pretty sick and i'm sure with a bit of time and dedication you can make an awesome font but it's really easy to use. Like, for example, uh, if I want to make a, a cool futuristic F, I would just go here to the letter F and click on it. And um, I would select this square and just start here. And then put the lines here. And I would choose another shape, which is the spiky uh, triangle. And I'm going to use them as the F. Um, the F and thing is <laughs> you know what i mean uh and then i just click on the a for example and i can start doing the a just as easy as pie and there we go and you have a lot of shapes here to choose from like for example oh i want this a to have this this thing here i want to have this thing here and there you go you have another font um let's do for example the p um, I'm gonna do this differently so uh, I'm gonna choose for example these squares here I want my P to have some dots inside right I want it to have this thing here I want it to contain some I don't know this thing probably this thing you know you can just personalize them make them your own you know and uh, it's just fantastic because if you were doing it in a normal font tool that allows you to create fonts inside of it, it, it would require you to use a pen tool, which uh, this program doesn't need because you already have the curved shapes that you need. And you can zoom out and you can have a bigger grid to work on. And by the way, it's whenever you use something inside of your font, you know, you don't have to search for them again because they appear here on the top left already and you can just reuse them for uh, your fonts you know so you don't have to scroll down to the bottom and then scroll back to the top because you need to uh, get the other ones oh my god and this is free and it's online it's literally just make an account and just uh, <laughs> make your font and uh, you can do you can be so creative with this and there's a preview option here so if I click on preview as you can see we have the letters here that I made the F and the A and um, for example if I press the F here the A and the P it it works it's an actual font and you can use it uh, for your website for example uh, obviously not this one fab I just really <laughs> I just realized I, I, I wrote fab <laughs> okay Never mind what's written there. It's tutorial. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I did not expect to write that. I, I, I was thinking in my head, don't write something embarrassing. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, go back, and then when you're ready with your font, 
Uh, oh, you can also go full screen if you go to menu, then view, and you can add it to full screen. Um, just, just click on download when you're done, right? After, after you check your preview, just click download now, and you're going to save it wherever. And um, then you can open it, and inside it's going to... There's going to be the font file. Um, I haven't really checked the expert mode here. I clicked on it, but nothing happened. So I'm going to probably check it out later and see how it goes. Uh, but look, you have here uh, the commas, the, the full stop, uh, quotation mark, as thingy, whatever. And you can also pick here if you want basic Latin, you know, A, B, C, D, or... Arabic or Hebrew you can make fonts for whatever language so that is pretty pretty sick and you can make it however you want oh I want a dotted R for example hell yeah I'm going to do a dotted R and this is going to be for example a font that you're going to use for LCD screens just to give you an example um yeah that's about it that this software is so easy to use it's online it's free uh you guys probably know it uh but i know you know for the people that haven't heard about it it's pretty pretty sick and uh, i really recommend you guys check it out um yeah <laughs> let me try something here let's see uh, i'm gonna pick this one i'm gonna put a circle a big circle here I like that see I can go to preview and I can just have a fapper this is our fapper font I'm going to save this as a fapper font I'm going to put this in my font struct gallery here there you go oh and you can share them right you can share them you can make them public um, for uh, the people that want to use them there's a, there's people there's a gallery here, right? That you can just put your fonts and share them with other people. At a moment, at a moment, it's private because uh, I haven't, I'm not finished with it. But if I go to view um, or edit, sorry, edit, it loads here, and you can see what I made. This is the Y, for example. If I go to preview, I wrote here Baca Arts, for example, right? And it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty satisfied with this font, and definitely gonna use it for something soon. Probably gonna use it for the thumbnail of this video. That's a good idea. But you can write anything. It's A B C D. It's A to Z. You know, you just have everything there. But I'm not done with it. As I said, I still have to do the, the full stop, for example, which is quite easy. Let's do that. And once you add something, you just go to preview, and it's there. It's there, and it's ready to use. It's easy as that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. Um, have fun making some nice typography art, making your own fonts. Check this website out and uh, subscribe for more. Cheers.